As you watch the NHL Conference Finals, the only question hockey fans in this city should be asking themselves is this. Are the Vancouver Canucks capable of raising their game to compete at this level? <sighs> Enough said. On Thursday, when Toronto head coach Mike Babcock warned the Leaf Nation there is pain coming, he was not talking about the price of season's tickets. No, he was preparing them for the price that needs to be paid to win the Stanley Cup. To get a good seat at the NHL entry draft, a franchise needs to tank a couple of seasons. Not even Detroit general manager Ken Holland can escape that reality. The Wings have not had a top 10 pick this century, and as a result, they have not been to a conference final in six years. Simply look at these playoffs and the players who still have their teams alive and kicking. Patrick Kane, Jonathan Taves, Corey Perry, Ryan Getzlaff, and Steven Stamkos. All of them are first round draft picks. What the arrival of Babcock shows is that the lights have finally come on in Toronto. So why not here in Vancouver? Well, back in 2011, general manager Jim Benning won a Stanley Cup in Boston without a lot of pain. But in all due respect, if it was not for the complete incompetence of Ottawa general manager John Muckler, the Bruins would never have acquired Zdeno Chera, and we would not be having this conversation. Unless the Senators are now willing to give away Eric Carlson, the question stands. Why are the Canucks not willing to deal with the pain? They now have nine starters over the age of 30. They've not won a playoff series in four years, and this spring, they got knocked out in the first round by the Calgary Flames. It would appear the Vancouver Canucks have not suffered enough. And that is why the Toronto Maple Leafs are now the new King of Pain.